guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical, and the first thing I wanna say is that you're live, and there's also no firearms in this video, okay? There are no firearms. Firearms are restricted in live YouTube videos. What I'm wearing right now is just a piece of plastic. So this right here is only a piece of plastic, okay? Not a gun, not a gun, not a gun, YouTube. All right, so I am only simply using this piece of plastic to demonstrate the really cool shoulder holster, okay? Got it going on with the El Sicario Covert Concealed Carry shirt. It's over the top, a little out there, but the reason we're doing that is just kind of like given the whole Miami Vice vibe, you know, whatever you want to say. But uh, really cool stuff here from Acre Leather. And what we're going to be doing some discussing of today is just that, some cool stuff from Acre Leather. And this is, uh, this is the bag that their stuff comes in. They're located in Chula Vista, California. They're a new sponsor of mine for the channel. They have a lot of different cool products and, and you can check them out on social media as well. The first thing I'm going to do is mention that I also have a sponsorship I'm sure you, that you guys are aware of with another leather company that is uh, 1791 Leather Gear. And this is a belt from 1791 Leather Gear, the heavy duty gun belt. And then this is the heavy duty gun belt from uh, Acre Leather. Now the Acre Leather Belt is definitely more flashy and fancy looking, but this 1791 Leather Company is just crazy heavy duty. It's, it's, not a, it's a no frills, but it's just really, really, really thick, tough leather, okay? And it's got that great leather smell. It's, it's a little bit raw. Okay, uh, and, and, and almost unfinished. So I would say acre leather, if you want the really fancy uh, high-end leather products like these, right? The, the really flashy and fancy stuff like what I have on now is all acre leather. Okay, so I'll do a little 360 view here, turn around and I think, you know, the, the double mag carrier over here, one of the cool things is that it has the option to hold a G17 or a G19 magazine because of the two snaps on there. You guys know that I do my own leather stuff as well. So I'll show you, this is a really old uh, model of uh, leather product that I have and do myself. And I like to use all bronze snaps on mine and uh, I also use very heavy duty, very tough natural leather. And so I, you know, I do know a thing or two about leather and that's I think why I've got a lot of these sponsors uh, new to the channel that are leather guys, you know, leather selling companies. And so I'm just gonna discuss a little bit. Some of you guys might wanna carry leather. Both of these are a good option and there's links in the description below to all of these leather belts. They are both the top of the line out there, okay, as good as it gets. I have uh, I have used Alessi leather, I've used Galco, I've used all of the leather companies out there that are supposedly the best. I was just over in Europe looking at a lot of their leather products of the, the high-end stuff, and guys, uh, one of the things about 1791 is I really like, they're just, there's something about American leather, it's just overbuilt, heavy, and 1791 really fits that image. And then Acre leather, does a good job with like duty type uh, and, and just, they're a little bit finer, a little bit fancier, but they, and not as, not quite as heavy duty, but they do do a great job with what they have. So links in the description below and you'll, you'll be able to check out those products and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of move on here into other products. You guys may have been wondering what the heck this was behind me. This is the Aloha plate carrier. Definitely fits the theme as well with the whole Miami Vice thing. We're gonna do questions and comments below uh, or later. If you're watching this and it's not live, you can do questions and comments below and I'll get back to you. If, the, if you're watching it right now live, then uh, you can comment and I'll, at the very end, I'll do, a, I'll do some answers. I'll answer some of your questions and respond to some of the comments. So go ahead and 
and start commenting and questioning and I'll get to them at the end of the video. This is the Aloha plate carrier, also link in description. If you like it, I think it's 200 bucks, but it's definitely a plate carrier nobody else has. Something I'm actually really excited about, believe it or not, and uh, I'm really, really excited about this, is this is a, a gas mask from Mira Safety. And one of the reasons that I'm really excited about this is because that a lot of the military type gas masks on the market are you know mass produced and they're they really they don't do a good job in my opinion they're not a they're not a great product they're difficult to to shoulder a firearm with I, I you know i have some of the israeli ones and those ones are are difficult to shoulder a firearm with them you got to learn how to shoot around it and they're just not like really any kind of a to, to me they don't appear to be any kind of a high end they're definitely not comfortable to use or anything like that but this one is just, uh, from what I could tell, but without actually having looked at it, and, and looking at it now is confirming my thoughts, this is a very high-end gas mask, okay? And I think it's, uh, my go-to really has, before this had been 3M, because 3M makes good products, but they're like a they were like $1,000 last time I looked for some of the 3M ones. And then, so this is like a comparable one, in my opinion, that's... Uh, that's gonna be a lot cheaper, okay? And so comment below if you think that I should do the rest of the video with the gas mask on, or if you can't hear anything I'm saying. But actually, extremely comfortable gas mask here. This is, uh, in my opinion, one of the top of the line gas masks. It has uh, some cool little features we'll discuss here in a minute. And the option for powered air, which if you're actually gonna be using a gas mask, in any kind of a situation, you'll very quickly learn that you're getting very hot, very fast, and you're gonna want a powered air respirator of some sort. So this one is uh, 550 grams, it's pretty light, one size fits all. It's uh, made of bromine butyl rubber, which is pretty much what most of them are made of. And it fits a large variety of different um, accessories, okay? It's got a, it's, uh, let's see what else. It's got the six point head harness. Uh, it's got a drinking system. That's one of the really cool features. So I did discuss it. I would, I did say that we would discuss the features and that's something a lot of people don't think about. If you have to live with a gas mask on, or if you really have to wear a gas mask, how nice is it that there's a drinking system in here? You can hook up, you can hook a canteen to it, right? And you can drink out of while you're wearing your gas mask. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, if you're having to wear this for extended times, you can even be drinking some kind of like a, you know, branch chain amino acids or even, you know, having a, like a sugar or substance in there so you can get some calories in your system if you're running and gunning and stuff like that, which is cool. You know, you can, you can get, you can mix in, you know, whatever kind of, it could be a pre-workout if you're in the end of the world type situation and you're, you're really going to be wanting to, uh, to go hard, then you know you can have a cocktail in there of uh, branch chain amino acids, electrolytes, uh, pre-workout, whatever, you, whatever you want. But uh, but that's a big option, all right, big option. And then we've got uh, a big, a wide variety of different filters. These particular filters are the uh, NBC seventy seven SOF, and they are. Let me see if I can see the actual um, ratings on these. Anyway. Uh, you'll have to check out what, you know, filters are for different, different filters for different things. But a uh, funny thing about these filters is they're actually made in the Czech Republic. And I was just in the Czech Republic doing some work over there. And I, ha I have a very high opinion of uh, Czech made products. I, I was doing some work uh, with the, a lot of gentlemen, actually I was doing some work with Meprolite, the whole org, doing some work with uh, IWI, uh, so a lot of weapons uh, stuff that we were doing over there. And then also this, you know, CZ as well, of course, um, with the, the new Bren, well, it's not new, it's new to me. The, the Bren from CN is, is quite, quite, quite an amazing firearm. CZ is doing a great job. A lot of stuff produced in the Czech Republic, in my opinion, is uh, on par or better than what the United States produces. So here we've got uh, another actual really cool thing because I've got a Yeti cooler. But this is not Yeti, and my Yeti cooler is huge, and it's really hard to carry around, and Yeti's overpriced. We all know that. So 
This is Able Carry, link in description below. And this is a, a really nifty cooler because it's just the right size for my drinks that I'm gonna carry around for the day, okay? So I, I can put my drinks that I'm gonna carry around for the day in here. I can put a couple uh, Bone Tactical water bottles in here and they, they'll fit right next to each other, the Bone Tactical water bottles. I, I should have brought one over here with me, but I don't think I have one. Um, that's, uh, I was a little underprepared, but they also, um, so let me see. There's also a bunch of other stuff that Able Carry sent over here inside the box. There's a note as well, which um, I, <laughs> they must have put all this stuff in before they sealed it. But really cool. Uh, you can tell it's quality, very high quality, and you can tell by looking at it. It's got the thermal lining on there. It just looks really nice. It's got three individual spots for, you can put ice in one spot or a few different uh, bottles, you know, uh, three different bottles, whatever you want to do. But it actually does hold some, you know, a, it's very small, but it allows you to, to have something portable, you know, to carry around who, who doesn't like a, a cold drink, right? So let's see what all what all they sent over here as far as the, these are little tote pouches and I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I go crazy for these little tote pouches, right? I, I use, I've been using the Magpul ones most recently, but, uh, but I, I've always, been, I'm always looking for other, other options. And this is the X pack here. And, and really, uh, I, re I already like it. It looks, it's got YKK zippers. Uh, there's doesn't appear to be any metal on it whatsoever. So it's a YKK plastic zipper, which is really cool. And there is uh, some kind of a really tough looking interior lining and then it's got stitching all the way through it. So just looks, it looks pretty awesome. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, definitely waterproof. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to, to be able to test these out. I think that's cool. So there's two X packs here, one in gray. And again, this is Able Carry. And uh, there's a link in the description where you get your Bone Tactical discount. Here's a gray one. It would be great for sunglasses, uh, little odds and ends that bounce around. In my Gray Man Operations Pack, I have everything in different little be organized bags like that. And that's the way that I like to do it. And I even put a tag on there so I can know uh, what's what. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This one, you can, uh, you can have like a little area in here where you can like stick cards and stuff. And then when it's fully like this, then they don't fall out. Okay, and then there's a zipper on the other side. Ah, pretty neat, pretty neat. Yeah, I'm a fan. I like these X-Packs, pretty cool, pretty cool. So we got multicam black, gray. You guys, obviously I'm a fan of multicam gray or multicam black. I have my, my, one of my trucks done in multicam black. The couch that I'm sitting on I did in multicam black. So here's black, gray, and multicam black, very cool. One of the reasons I like to use different colors also on my little organizer pouches is because if I don't label them or if I don't want to label them and they're different colors, then I can know which what's in which bag without having to open it based off of the color. So that's a, another little organization tip for you guys. We've got a uh, blue Ram sent me another outdoor light four because the outdoor light three, I believe it was didn't work. And, but otherwise blue Rams, I've got their cameras at facilities all over the place, all over the world. I've got Blue Rams cameras running at my facilities and they are really great. So I've only had a problem with one of them and their customer service is awesome. So if they do, if they, if they do send you a camera and I think the problem was actually my network, not their camera. I think I just had way too many cameras on the network where I was trying to put it. And, but anyway, yeah. So I've had great luck with Blue Rams. This is something really cool from Olight. Uh, it's just like a steampunk. I don't know if you guys know what steampunk means but it's like a steampunk lantern and then Olight's a good quality uh, light company, right? So what you get with Olight is knowing that you get a good quality product, well-made and, but this is just really cool because it just looks cool. It looks like an old fashioned lantern, but it's a, but it's a nice effective light, heavy duty, battery charging. So I, this literally sits on top of a battery, right? And it looks like, you know, my grandmother actually had one of these that, that had like, you put oil in it and pumped it up and I still have it. And, you know, it's just really like a, a cool thing I like. One of uh, just a cool possession I have, you know, family heirloom. And then 
uh, this reminds me of that. It's, it's heavy duty, well made. It's actually got glass on here. I mean, it just even has elements. It's LED, but it, it's got what looks like elements. Just really, really cool. They got, they really went over the top on this. Fit and finish is this copper looking fit and finish. I think this would even be a great gift for like any, you know, a guy that is into, you know, has, you know, what guy wouldn't want one of these in his garage or in his man cave or something like that? You know, sitting ready to charge. So you're sitting on the charger, right? Comes with the magnetic charger, sitting on the charger, and then ready to grab. So you guys know I'm very critical on products. I don't give a lot of high praise to a lot of different stuff, but uh, but Olight has been consistent, consistently sending me cool stuff for a lot of years now, and uh, and I'm uh, and I'll tell the truth that you know it's it's they, they do a good job. So I'll give them that shout out. And I think it's BT10 is the 10% discount code. So you use that, check it. It's in, the, it's, in the, it's in the description below. There's a link there with, and it says what the discount code is. If it's not B10, correct me in the com BT10, correct me in the comments, but I think it is. Now, uh, <clears throat> this is the final item over here. This is, then I'm gonna do questions and answers. So be putting your questions. This is the final item over here. And this is the extreme outdoor motion boom plus portable waterproof speaker from Soundcore. okay and i have the i actually bought the small version of this because i did a lot of research and i buy my stuff off amazon and they Soundcore does a good job and then they randomly emailed me later and were like hey do you want the bigger better one of this and i was like uh of course i do but i have the i have the baby brother to this this is the this is the mac daddy here but I can tell you 100% these things rock, okay? They're awesome. Uh, it comes with the boom box strap, comes with the charging handle. It's got a crap ton of speakers on there, on here to, to, for lack of another word. It's got a bunch, it's got tweeters and subs. It's got subs on the side, tweeters and mids in the front. It's got the full range of the sound spectrum. It plays for like 20 hours, it's waterproof. It's just as cool as it gets, guys. Uh, it's pretty tough, so. You know, I, I wouldn't probably use it in, on the job site, like getting hit directly by uh, any kind of um, maybe uh, getting, getting, you know, hit by sparks or anything like that. But, but definitely something I would use outside or in the water. Uh, I, I definitely just wouldn't super abuse it, but it's one of the tougher speakers out there. The reason I say I wouldn't super abuse it is because, I mean, you can see there are like, you know, fine parts on it. Uh, it, it, it's gonna, it's not gonna, it's not like bulletproof, right? But it is very tough, very well made, and it sounds awesome. So I'm stoked that I have this. I'm now gonna crank up some Vicente Fernandez uh, after the video. So we're gonna be uh, rocking out here the rest of the Sunday with my new Soundcore speaker thing. But um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all the products. I'm wearing the current top concealed carry shirt available on the market. If you wanna check it out, bonetactical.com. And behind me are the world's most effective edged weapons and self-defense tools, also all available from bonetactical.com. Chad Woodward asked for a video on how to take care of high carbon steel knives. I will do that. I also send warranty card, very simple, how to take care of them. Wash it with, wash with warm water and soap, soapy warm water, and then hit it with any kind of oil, bare fat, grease, um, anything that, that repels water basically after that and you're fine. It doesn't matter if it gets a little bit of, of patina on there, if it gets some discoloration or oxidation, it's not a problem. Just it builds character. It's good for the knife. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Fake Jail wants to know if he can attach a bong to the gas mask. And I think m the best response to that would be, you can do anything you set your mind to young man with hard work. <laughs> and, uh, and determination. <laughs> so uh, Scott's checking in from Tampa, Florida. Said he's been following for a few years and loves the content. Thank you, Scott. MOA mentions that he, uh, he's a big fan of Bone Tactical. Thanks for checking in, MOA. And he wanted me to wear the gas mask for the whole live stream, but I did not, unfortunately. Jordan Velasquez said that he would love one of these to carry bourbon in. They're really actually affordable, and I think you should get one from Able Carry because they're, they're cool. The uh, Thick and Thin Homestead says he's got an older Czech military knife that 
has taken a very taken a beating. Yeah, check the the checks make good stuff. Like I said, I just got back from there. You've got a, a lot of nice products. Thank you for doing that. Uh, Curtis said that there's a lot of bone tactical products that are nice. I think, and then as well as in the video. So a lot of guys checking in. Drew, Chad, um, Chad Michaels is asking if the plate carrier is legit. Yeah, it's a it's a real real deal plate carrier. It's like two hundred dollars, I think. And uh, it looks it looks like it holds a plate pretty well. I mean, it's it, I checked it out and it's it's Hawaiian print, but it's just like a a mid level any kind of a plate carrier. And uh, last comment I'm gonna last question I'm gonna answer is to Chad Woodward. He asked, "What's a good bourbon for guys starting starting out?" And uh, Long Branch from uh, Matthew McConaughey's combined efforts with. Uh, uh, Wild Turkey is an absolutely amazing bourbon for the price and great for starting out or great for advanced guys who want to have a mid, mid price, uh, fairly priced, excellent bourbon. So that's my recommendation for today. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you love this video. Comment below, like the video, share it with your friends and help me help you be able to review cool, more cool stuff and be able to keep this stuff coming for you. The way that you do it is subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends. We gotta get, we gotta get these uh, likes up, we gotta get these views up in order for me to be able to afford to keep making these videos for you guys and for this to be uh, something that we can keep doing. I do appreciate it because if it's not for you guys, we can't do it. Thanks for watching, bone out.